Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chaos Lord David. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Armored Core Part 4. In the previous part, we got the much better laser rifle, and now we are going to start off the next mission to test out this bad boy. We're going to start off with Guard Freight Train, because this mission here actually has another hidden AC part that we can get. The request is by Morocco Millennium. We get 12,000 credits in advance, but we get 20,000 upon success. We have an emergency. We have been informed of a plan to attack our long-haul freight train, Boulder. We are unsure of the enemy's exact target, but it is likely that they are after the confidential cargo on the lead car. The train's next stop, Heaven Rock Supply Depot, has very little cover. We feel that this would be an opportune location for the enemy to attack. Go ahead of the train ASAP and head for the Supply Depot. Give highest priority to ensuring the safety of at least the lead car. The cars further back are not particularly important at this time, but we will up your pay by 10,000 credits if all the cars are safe. We're counting on you, Raven. Ooh, we're getting the big money. Theater of Operations, Heaven's, Heaven's Rock, Supply Depot number 6, enemy forces are unknown. We defend the lead card within region for success. So, this is of course a protection mission, even though um, you only just get a couple credits, but we're going to try and at least defend all the cards so we can get the maximum pay. We've reached the fuel depot. Dropping AC. Stand by for Titan Ball. Oh wait, this isn't it. Main system engaging combat mode. <laughs> all right, the hidden part is all the way over here, right where these boxes are at. It's right underneath this box. It is a hidden AC head. AC head obtained. Now we have to deal with these planes for the moment, for the time being. And you got to get good aim to take these planes down. And these planes are annoying. These planes, not to mention, are annoying as heck to try and shoot or even aim at. Come on. Stay still. Wow, I'm already getting damaged so bad. Come on, dang, come on. Steer into my bullets. This is Boulder. We're almost at the destination. There they go. Here comes Boulder. Enemy AC approaching. Number of ACs, one. But it looks like we've got company. Here comes an enemy AC. Here he comes. As you can obviously tell, he's using that piece of crap rifle that we used to use, that we no longer use. And look at how over OP this weapon is. Seven bullets and he's down already. Didn't even put up a fight. So, that wraps it up. Easy breezy. Look at that, all the cars are safe. I am amazing, aren't I? You are cleared to roll out. Come on, buddy. Anytime. This is Boulder. Refueling complete. We're underway. There he goes. There we go. Train, get the rolling. Train, get the rolling. Train, get the rolling. All night long. Oh, wait, this is not nighttime. What the hell am I saying? Oh, well. <laughs> but anyway, mission complete. Seemed pretty easy this time around. Uh, mission complete. Hello. Ahem. Boulder Mission Combat Area. Thank you. Target of operation cleared. System switch to normal mode. Well, at least I don't have to deal with that many times, because I remember the, how many amount of times I usually screw up on that. It's because of the planes; they're pretty tough to hit. They can be they can be tough to hit, though. I'm going to show you guys the head really quick. It's a pretty defensive head. It's okay for a head. Oh, but we got new mail. We got mail. We got mail. We got mail. The red AC from Rockamo Millennium. You never imagined that the guy in the red AC would show up. The owner of that red AC was originally well known as a very able raven. Then one time he failed to complete a mission and was never heard from again. The AC reappeared several years ago. Since then, every time that he appeared on a battlefield, he would act like a mad dog, indiscriminately attacking anyone over and over. There are some who say that he was just looking for a place to die. Now no one will know the real reason for his actions. Too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, show off the uh, uh, head really quickly. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Oh, the heads are right here, and here it is, right here. It is it is a it is pretty really high armor, really high armor points. It's pretty defensive. 
it's a really pretty defensive head, so... I mean, I could use it to have a better armor points and defense and all that stuff, but I'd rather just stick with the head that I currently got. And I want to see if I'm able to buy me something. So I'm going to need to buy, buy me some new boosters. I'm going to go ahead and buy new boosters, and they shall be these right here. These have the best uh, boost power. These are really good boosters. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that on my AC. Do 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 do. Go over to boosters. Get rid of this weak weak boosters and equip for this one. Now let's have a look at a. Uh, let's have a look at our AC. Above average. Eh, it's not too bad. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, let's advance to the next mission. The next mission we shall do will be prototype NT test for 28,000 credits. Cruster is Chrome. Come participate in a combat test against a new weapon currently under development. Anyone is okay as long as they can fight. We want combat data for the current prototype. Your opponent, Chaos, hey, that's my name, is a completely automated robot, and the location is inside our lab. No need to be timid, give it all you've got. However, you get paid only if you win. No slacking off. This may not be much of a challenge to you ravens, but you can make a fast buck. Think of it as an easy job. Ooh, easy money, easy money. Theater of Operations, Chrome Weapons Lab, Enemy Forces Chaos 0.8, destroys Chaos 0.8 for success. Now, if you've got the laser rifle, this mission will be easy breezy. This one-on-one -on -one fight will be completely easy. It'll be a cakewalk. The test MT your fight is completely automated. There's no need to be timid. Give it all you've got. Main system, engaging combat mode. So yeah, and just a few little bullets like so. And I took, took a bit. Right, right. But yeah, not many hits. Down already. We got some excellent data. We'll put it to good use in the future. Thank you for your help. Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. And it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, get rid of that radar. 26,000 easy credits. So yeah, if you got the laser rifle, then that, like I said, the fight's easy breezy and the, the money is easy breezy. What I forgot to do is I need to unequip that, that radar because we don't need it. Any, we don't need it. So we get a mail about Human Plus from Raven's Nest. Are you aware of the Human Plus project? Which is what I've gone under if you saw my part 1.5 video. The Human Plus technology developed by Morocco is an advanced technology whereby the organs of the body, mainly the nervous system, bones, and muscle tissue, are replaced with artificial replacements which give the sub subject abilities vastly superior to those of an ordinary man. People who have undergone this operation are called the Plus, the ranks of which include soldiers and bodyguards for VIPs. Rumor has it that several of the top-ranking Ravens were also Plus. However, the reason why Morocco, supposedly an industrial manufacturer, originally developed this technology is still a mystery even now. I'll be in touch. Of course you will. Okay, now I can unequip that radar, because since we've undergone Human Plus... <clears throat> uh, sorry about that, I had to clear my throat. And, uh... We got undergone human plus. The we basically just keep the radar, no matter what, no matter what we equip on it. We keep we keep that radar. It's an okay radar. It's better than it's better than nothing though. So next mission will be attack urban center. It is requested by Chrome, and the amount of credits is based on results of this success. We want you to wreak havoc on Gull City. The job is simple: just attack the urban area and fire at will at any attractive target. If one finds oneself in danger, and one who does not have the power to resist must depend on someone else. If you have the power, come to us at Chrome. You have three minutes for tactical operations. Staying any longer is useless. If you stay too long, we don't know what sort of trouble will happen. Your pay will be determined based on the results. Simply put, the more you destroy, the higher your pay. Good luck. Theater of Operations, Gal City, Office District. Enemy forces unknown. Three minutes of destruction for success. Now this mission is pretty important because if you want to know uh, advance up in the rankings, then uh, this is this is a important mission for that. Main system engaging combat mode. But yeah, what we'll do here for the first, uh, uh, well, basically we just destroy anything, just just blow anything you see. And I do not want to go up high in the sky. I don't want to do that. I just want to keep going. But yeah, the uh, boosters have that. This booster has the highest uh, boost power of uh, all the other boosters. So it's useful. 
but uh, more stuff will come out after the first minute of, of destroying stuff. But the reason why, if you want to know how to go up the rankings, then you'll find out here in a little bit during the mission. You, in the AC, surrender immediately. We got company. If you resist, we will attack without mercy. Oh no. Come on out, come on out then. Whoa. Yep, there he is. There, there's our company. So yeah, just two easy rifle shots and they're down. If you run into these guys, you may as well take them down. Because they can be a big distraction. Whenever you're trying to do do the uh, next objective. It can be a big distraction. Plus, your, it adds to your pay. So you may as well just take them down. Oh. Bush Wookie, get out of here. Okay. The enemy should be coming out here in just a little bit. Anytime now. Enemy reinforcements identified as a ranking AC. Here Enemy comes. ranking AC identified as Valkyrie. Valkyrie is the AC we have to take care of in order to advance up the rankings. There he is right there. Right there. Come on, stay still. Stay still. Come on, I need to take you down. Impact though. Alright, took him down. Good. Last bullet too. Eat laser blade, buddy. You too. I can't believe you had a direct blade like that, did The blade beam like that didn't even take him down. Alright, 13 seconds left. Mission. Let's get some of these more stuff destroyed. There we go. Scheduled time exceeded. Combat operations halted. And that's the end of the mission. Mission successful. 26,400 credits plus 6,800 due to damage. 19,000 credits. So that's not too shabby. But yeah, if you want to advance up the rankings, then you'll have to just defeat Valkyrie in this mission. If you don't defeat Valkyrie, then you won't get to the top of the rankings. But since we did, we'll eventually get to the top of the rankings. So we get another email about a ranking Raven. On the Raven's Nest. From the Raven's Nest standpoint, as long as someone pays our price, we have no say in regards to the content of a mission. This means that sometimes Ravens may fight against each other. This time, you fought against the ranking Raven, Los Vays. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's one of our top ranked Ravens. You should consider yourself lucky to have escaped with your life. I'll be in touch, of course. And these three missions were pretty tough. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut, cut it off after this, after we look at our ranking. We are, ra I am ranked number seven. It's not too bad. Lucky number seven. Has a mission success rate much higher than the other new Ravens. Should rise and rank with experience. Oh, we shall indeed rise. We shall rise indeed. I'm going to uh, cut it off right here. Because this is a good place to stop. And, uh, try and I never really liked those three missions. They're pretty tough. Except the prototype MT test. That mission's no problem, but guard freight train and attack our urban center. Uh, never really liked them. Kind of had a struggle with them uh, the first, first go around I've played them, but at least they're done. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, part of our Let's Play of Armor Core, and I'll see you guys in the next part. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.